A long time ago, there was a Zen master in a Buddhist monastery. He once had a visit from a man who said, Sir, my mind is very disturbed. I am always having a lot of thoughts. Please teach me a mantra to help me quiet my mind. As he turned to face him, the Zen master said, My friend, start doing meditation every day. Your mind will start to settle down if you practice meditation regularly. Surprisingly, the man requested that the Zen master not advise him to meditate. I am unable to meditate because when I try, new thoughts tend to enter my head. Most of them are negative and cause my mind to become restless. Don't worry, son. It happens in the beginning stages of meditation. But by practicing meditation methodically, your mind will begin to calm down. That was the reply from the Zen master. However, the man said, Master, meditation is not my type of thing. Please give me some mantras to quiet my mind. When the Zen master realized that this guy would not be able to fully understand what he was saying in this manner, he replied, Okay, if you insist, then I will give you a mantra that can calm your mind. He then whispered a mantra into his ear and instructed him to repeat it every day while sitting by himself. The man felt thrilled and said, Thank you, Master. I will definitely recite this mantra every day. The Zen master cautioned him not to think of a monkey while chanting this mantra or else it would lose its effectiveness as he was about to leave. Why on earth would I think of a monkey? The man asked. You don't worry about it. I have never thought of a monkey in my life. And he left from there. The man happily returned home and sat down to chant the mantra. He started chanting the mantra as he remembered the Zen master's advice not to imagine a monkey while doing so. Images of monkeys began to appear in his head as he remembered the master's remarks. He first tried to ignore the monkey-related thoughts. But the more he made an effort to do so, the more the monkeys kept appearing in his thoughts until eventually the monkeys completely occupied his mind. The man wondered why the Zen master had given him this advice. If he had known that the monkey was problematic, he should not have brought it up. He can't think of any other animals and there are no living monkeys. The man took a bath, put on fresh clothes, and then went back to his room to recite the mantra. Monkeys appeared as soon as he closed his eyes. Everywhere he turned, he saw them all around him. At night, he would see monkeys. He even began to see monkeys in his loved one's faces. The man had lost his mind. More monkeys kept popping into his head the more he tried to ignore them. By daybreak, he was nearly insane. He returned to the Zen master the following morning, told him everything and said, Sir, what kind of mantra have you given me? I hadn't thought about monkeys before yesterday, but now I can't stop thinking about them. Please help me get my mind off of these animals. Okay, just unwind and quit reciting the mantra, the Zen master suggested. Do nothing. The man stopped reciting his mantra and comfortably sat down. He was shocked that the thought of a monkey was no longer present. Everything was back to normal. The Zen master then said, You see, my child, 
I just wanted to tell you about the nature of our mind. Never try to fight with your mind, for the mind is like a spring. Similar to spring, it will jump higher the harder you press. Similar to this, the more you try to control your thoughts, the more powerful they will become. Keep your cool and begin observing your ideas and you will discover that your mind will calm down eventually and for that to happen you need to meditate if we look at our lives we will see that our minds operate similarly to mindless jumping monkeys the more you push the monkey's spring the more it jumps similarly the more you try to stop your ideas the more they will enter your head if you wish to stop this monkey mind forcibly you won't be able to do so we don't often have the ability to observe our thoughts in daily life but in meditation it is simple to do so so it is necessary to meditate in order to observe our ideas some individuals find that as they start to meditate more thoughts tend to enter their minds but this is simply because as we begin to meditate old impressions that have been concealed in our minds begin to surface much like when you clean your house and all the junk comes out similar to when you first begin meditating all of your mental clutter starts to emerge and you will begin to have more thoughts Despite this you shouldn't be concerned instead keep testing your ideas while continuing your meditation practice once all of the mental clutter has been released the mind will begin to settle down and you will start to have fewer thoughts with enough practice you will definitely be able to control your thoughts make life simple be happy always